When the youth of Canada put together the power shift principles, we challenged all of our federal leaders to come and join us today and to work with us to create the new future that we need so that we have a future. The NDP and the Green Party have been brave enough to come here today to join us. I would like to invite Elizabeth May and Linda Dage to sign on publicly to the Power Shift Principles and show their support for Canadian youth. Thank you, Amber. Uh, I'm very happy to join my colleague, Linda Duncan, environment critic for the New Democratic Party, uh, in signing these principles. En boutir un petit mot en français pour dire de grand merci à tous les jeunesses, à tous les jeunes qui sont participés cet week-end pour un grand événement, une manifestation uh, très grande de plusieurs de 2000 personnes de, sur la colline ici à Ottawa. C'est presque euh, rien dans le média pour euh, le, le grand succès ce week-end. Autour du Canada, autour du monde, plus de 5000 manifestations, dont euh, plus de euh, 180 pays du monde. C'est un grand succès. Et remercie à Amber, Amy, Tammy et Dean pour euh, leur leadership parce que maintenant le gouvernement du Canada ne montre pas le leadership et c'est la jeunesse, le jeune du Canada qui sont les vrais leaders. Um, je peux signer maintenant. I'm very proud to sign this declaration of Power Shift Canada principles for a clean, green future and green jobs. Um, I'm absolutely delighted that I've been invited here by Power Shift and the Youth of Canada. I'll tell you what's really scary is the fact that the Conservatives and Liberals have not stepped up to the plate to come here today to sign on and say that is the most important thing in this country is the future of our children and the children of the world. It's absolutely reprehensible that we're holding out the passage of Bill 311, the Climate Change Accountability Act. And why is that terrifying? Not just because those two parties have refused right now to sign on to the science-driven targets, but because reneging on the future of Canadians, the Canadian environment, the Arctic, the prairies, and the government reports alone are documenting we're already seeing the impacts of climate change, let alone what we're going to see into the future. So I say to all members of Parliament, step up to the plate, bring 311 back to the House, vote on it, hold yourself accountable, that's what we're elected to do. And I say all power to the people, all power to the youth of Canada, they're the ones who are showing the way. I look forward to joining hands with you in Copenhagen and showing the world that the majority of Canadians actually believe in playing our part, and I'm happy to sign this declaration. On behalf of the New Democratic Party of Canada. <laughs>